Hello, mermaids and barnacle boys. My name is Sponge Drew, and welcome back to another video. I hope you all had a very, you know, great Christmas yesterday, getting some, you know, amazing gifts from friends and family. I certainly did as well. And today, I'm actually be going over, actually, one of the biggest gifts that I got yesterday. I was thinking of, you know, reviewing some of the stuff, a lot of stuff that I got, you know, like I said, just today. But I decided, you know, review the other biggest one I had by itself and it is a Lego city set this is the deep sea explorer submarine this is set number 60379 contains 842 pieces and this set here is quite expensive you can't really you know I don't think you could get this anywhere else I mean the best bet to get is like you know like Amazon or the Lego uh, or from lego.com or something but uh yeah, this is, you know, the biggest set here. I'm not going to, you know, waste any more time. You know, front of the box here, you can kind of you know, look at images online, see what it's about. But uh, who really cares about the box? Let's actually get right into it. And as you can see, I already built all of this, you know, ahead of time. You know, because, you know, I decided, you know, hey, right here and there, let's, you know, get right into building. And the building was actually quite satisfying too. So let's look at the figures itself, each uh, one by one here. Get into focus. There we go. So they don't really have, you know, any names. They're just kind of like all like figures from the Leo you know, City series. So we got a female character here with like long hair with a life preserver. Uh, we have, if I can grab him, some kind of, like, doctor right here with a syringe. Oh, uh, you got, uh, three scuba divers right here. This one has, a uh, this contraption here. It's like a metal detector. That's what it's called. It has a metal detector. You have another female diver here with like some really rad like blue hair and you have this dude with a camera and they do come with their own like little helmets it's right here two of them and we got this one right here which looks really really cool I like the way this one looks in particular Really cool stuff. Don't know why it's not focusing, but you get the idea. That's all the figures for now. Let's to look at the little mechanical, you know, kind of like robo suit here, which has some articulation, you know, two in legs and, you know, kind of like, well, I guess two in the, uh, one in the legs and two in the arms right here. And it does come with, you know, it's the one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the six figure right here. See her right there. Close up just like so. Kind of reminds me of a suit from a Subnautica. So, yeah, that's basically it. We'll get to this for last. Let's actually take a look at the sub really quick this here sorry this is gonna be in the way but just ignore that for now this is really cool the build was you know quite a uh, complex I will say but I do love the colors of it I love the dark blue the white and the orange really you know goes well together see you know the claws Right here, you have rubber bands so they can grab on stuff. There is articulation with both of these. So this is on a ball joint, and this is like on a hinge. Same thing with the other one. Uh, this opens up. It's kind of like steering mechanism. This also can also remove. Now on the inside, got some stuff like console scissors and some other stuff you know, in there if you open this up 
And inside, if I can take it out, whoops. Get back on there. There you go. It's a little sub. Kind of like a little transportation kind of machine. Little propeller, back, little arms, and whatnot. Kind of looks like a little robot. And you can just stick them right back in there. So yeah. Really, really cool. I really like this. I might actually, you know, display uh, this one, you know, in my room. Probably not going to take it apart. This is really cool. Oh, so it has some, like, little stuff in here. So you can put, like, treasury stuff. These do move as well. Not this, though. The propeller on the back does. It also has this. That way you can, you know, put this guy right here. Really cool. But yeah, that's really uh, it for the sub. Very big, I have to say, but really cool. But anyways, to actually get on the main focus, my favorite part of the set, which is this. Which is kind of like part of like, you know, like some uh, life, kind of like, you know, like underwater coral life, like a wrecked ship and whatnot. I uh, can see this kind of wobbles, and if you turn this, the sharks kind of spin around, just like that. That's really cool, actually. That is pretty cool. You can see, if you turn the back, uh, if you pull the shark back, so basically, oh, you can see a, a, a dead pirate skeleton right here, and his foot is right here. And these are the jellyfish, which are actually, you know, very pretty looking. You can see, we kind of have like a blue one right here. And we have like kind of like a pinkish one right here. Very, very pretty, I have to say. Really cool. I always love, you know, like these sets because they really do put a lot of effort into, you know, making these. But uh, if you see the shark kind of like comes in and out so when you know like divers are coming like so the shark can strike back speak up let's take it take a look at this the really one main reason why i wanted this set for so long because of this shark mold for my years of you know like loving lego so much i particularly wanted this you know shark right here because of the way its size it could hold figures and whatnot and look and listen to the sound love that snapping sound really firm and whatnot after years of asking for this shark shark and not being able to get it finally i got it it's not particularly the one that i wanted because you know originally they did make this mold like years and years ago, but it didn't have, you know, the white on it. Now they released it again, and now it looks like an actual great white shark. See, on the inside here, you can put like mini figures and whatnot. Kind of like close up. I would highly recommend getting this one just because it's like really cool and like the shark teeth. I've seen this shark and you know, uh, Lego stop motion, you know, animations and whatnot. Let's just use an example right here. Let's see, the figure can you know, fit right there. Let's see, okay, well, that happened. <laughs> Trust me, I am a professional at this. I am, but yeah, this is a really cool shark. Mold. I would highly recommend you know getting this. You know, I even fit my whole thumb in there too, and even my fingers like that. Rawr. But yeah, that's really it. Love this shark so much. Yeah, you can place it back right here. Oh, you also have you know like where you put stuff and stuff right here too. Really, really, really cool. Love it a lot. 
So yeah, that's really it for today's video. I love this set so much. I love, you know, like the sharks and everything. I love the environment here. I love the sub. Ooh, smack my like camera. I love, you know, everything about this set. I would recommend getting this set, but do be warned this set is very expensive. So use your money wisely. So thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you like what you see here and you want to see you know more uh, Lego set reviews or even like how to build Lego stuff, let me know. I'll definitely do a lot more in the future. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you see here and you want to see more video like videos like this in the future then be sure be sure to subscribe to my channel today click that bell notification so you'll stay notified when i make new videos like the video comment what you think of it what do you like most about this set do you love the sub do you love you know like the little like abandoned ship with the sharks on it do you love you know like do you love like lego city sets in particular what is your favorite lego set you have if you know people who love like those share them with them as well fan fan ugh, sorry friends family or whoever and with that said i'll see all of you in my next video and merry christmas to you all and definitely be delivering new content next year bye bye